Start out. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's start out with doing uh, Cat Kramer and Cher. Thank you. 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 Okay. One over here, ma'am. And share straight ahead. Beautiful. And share right this way, please. She's not a ma'am, she's a little girl. Share to your right. One over here, ma'am. Can you look this way? And just one more time, straight ahead. And share one more this way. Can we just have everybody kind of squish it? Yeah, one more. Bring Billy over here. And then, um, you lend so much support to this, and uh, words can't express that when you speak, the whole world listens. So your endorsement just of the film and also the issues. Well, I mean, it's something that's very important. I know, I know. And this movie... Um, I don't know that I can watch it. I know all the information, but I'm not sure that I can watch it. No, it's, it gets it's very, tough. it makes you really angry too. Yeah. It makes you want to, you know, it, it makes you want to do something, but unless someone gives you a direction, it's like, I went down to the city, you know, and, and talked to so many members of, of the council down there, and they were, they, they were very much on our side, and then the, then the zoo lied, and, and we, you know, if someone out and out lies, you, you, this, what, you know, you, we weren't prepared for that. But this big thing that they're building is, is it's minuscule. If you want to really do something for the elephants, put them in a, in a beautiful preserve where they can have a life, where they can get back together, where they can live the way. It's like if your mother, you know, if you were taken away from your mother and then thrown into, you know, a cage and people watched you. I mean, elephants feel, they have those feelings, like if, if, if one elephant dies, they stand around and mourn the elephant. I mean, elephants are very human, and, and, um, and you know, I'm not going to be too schmaltzy about it, because that's not the kind of a woman that I am. What happened but I have to, with you and Margie, the, the elephant? Was... Well, you know, I, she was my best friend for three weeks, and I rode around on her, I, you know, I, I felt so comfortable. What was the movie? It was, a, it was a terrible movie that Sonny and I made called Good Times, but actually he was good in it. But she was, she, she taught me something that I would have never been able to know. And then, you know, kids are going to the zoo, but no one's telling them that this elephant Billy has been alone his whole life and is rocking back and forth and, and, and moving his head from side to side, which they never do in captivity, because he's had a breakdown. I'm sure that the children would not enjoy it. I'm sure that the children would be the first ones to write letters and go, this is not right, we don't want to see it, you know, because kids are like that, you know. I, I, that's what I would wish, that kids would make their own ground roots, you know, thing and say, it's not worth, you know, we don't want that. We want something different, but we don't need to, you know, put an animal in, in pain for its whole life. It will live and die alone instead of, living and dying in a family, you know? It's like us living and dying alone or living and dying with our family. I'm not even sure the kids should watch this film. I think their parents should watch this film. I think their teachers. I, I'm not sure that it's something that they could bear to watch. I'm, I'm not sure that it's something, I'm not sure that it's something that most people could bear to watch. So what would you tell them so they understand it without having to watch this film? I would How tell them that, you know, in order for you to see this beautiful animal for 10 minutes, it will go through a lifetime of torture. They still use bull hooks on them, they use cattle prods on them, and even when they don't mean to be cruel, because they're separated and isolated and they have terrible feet problems and, and a lot of them die because of that, it sounds crazy, and they get arthritis, you know, and, they, and these are animals that need, you know, it's like if we were just kept in a closet for our whole life, you know, with no, with no um, contact with, with our parents, with our friends, not able to do anything, I mean, it, it's not worth it, you know, and many zoos, Texas is not having them anymore. You know, Louisiana, you know, I mean, 
we're barbaric. I don't understand how the zoo can think it's that important. It's like, you know, how much ego do you have to have? You know? And also, I would look into how many elephants have died at the LA County Zoo. All the teenagers, you know, all these teenagers. And it's, um, it's, it's just complete bullshit. <laughs> You know, That's the and I would be so there would be so many more words coming out of my mouth, and uh, if if I didn't have to watch it, ten acres to a person sounds like a lot. Ten acres to an elephant is a postage stamp. You know, so the zoo kind of did this, you know, major bullshit campaign, but it's not the truth. <laughs> and the truth is, elephants should be together in the wild and enjoying decent, happy, productive lives. They're beautiful animals, you know, and they, they don't deserve this kind of pain and suffering. They just, it's really beyond the pale. Hello, cat back up just to drop, my dear. Thank you so much, Robert, right here, buddy. And one more. Awesome, guys, thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. Bye-bye, thanks. Bye.